What's up guys and welcome to another Operator Mastery. I got Mozzie here today, one of the better roamers in the game, even though he's a two speed, two armor. So let's go over everything from the best loadout, best gun. He has two really good guns and then we go into play style in a custom match. As always though, this is not a montage. It will never be a montage. This is not a in-game type thing. I'm actually showing you guys in custom matches how I would play it, giving you examples of how I'd play it. I'm not just trying to like flex on you guys. I'm just gonna show you in a custom match. There's no reason for me to show a montage in a educational type video. So if you want a montage, go elsewhere. If you want to learn something, stick around. So let's go into the loadout here. So loadout, we have the Commando 9 or the P10 Ronnie. The P10 Ronnie hits, uh, hits less with only 26 damage compared to the 36 here, but it has a higher fire rate. And I think it's pretty good for the most part and really good for recoil. So uh, P10 Ronnie, I rock a holographic compensator and then I would rock an angled grip. I don't know why I have that on, but angled grip because this gun already doesn't have much recoil. But if you want absolutely zero recoil then vertical grip that's why i had it on because i i was doing something with recoil testing but um don't worry about that angled grip comp and hollow should work well for you you only have 19 bolts in the mag so you're usually holding down the trigger for a lot of that with a no recoil gun like the p10 but if you want a higher hitting gun then the commando 9 is the one for you i rock a hollow on it always i always rock hollows on everything then a muzzle and an angled i like the muzzle on it it's a pretty steady gun, so no need for a compensator and the flash hider. The muzzle brake just seems to work better. I've tested this, so if it doesn't work well for you and you find the flash hider to be better, then go for it. Flash hider is, you know, a very comparable muzzle to the muzzle brake. They're both pretty similar, and I would recommend muzzle or flash on a lot of weapons. And then a angled grip as well for the Commando 9. And that's the base gun load out there. And then you have a one sidearm option and then a muzzle brake. Always do a muzzle brake on pistols. On attack, you can get away with suppressor because you're trying to destroy cam silently, but for a defender, a muzzle brake is probably the way to go in most situations. And then barbed wire or C4, it just depends on what your team's loadout is. As always, if everyone has C4 on your team, you're going to probably want to pick barbed wire because barbed wire is so useful for slowing down the enemies and stopping rushes for sure. So nitro cell any other time because you are usually going to be roaming and Nitro Cells can give you some easy kills. So let's hop into a game now. I'm going to hop into Clubhouse because I think it's a perfect example there on top floor. So I'm going to go into there and I'll see you guys in the game. So from the start of the round, you know, at the beginning, a lot of people with Mozzie, they like to just throw, you know, they like to go like this and put one on blue or just something just to use it more of like a mute jammer than how useful it really can be. And then they don't move them once the round starts. This is stupid if you put it like that or even if you put it like this in your sight. It's easy to get around. You can just jump over the radius like that. And uh, it's more so for um, roaming. This is supposed to tie into the roaming ability of Mozzie. While, uh, you know, it can be good as acting with mute, like you can use mute and this and then block down the whole site. But if you use it with your roaming, which is obviously what I'm going to show you because I like to use the operators how they're more intended to be or how I think they're intended to be. So by put, you know, at the beginning of the round, if you see a drone just sitting somewhere, yeah, catch it and use it as a camera. That's always a useful thing to do with the drones and Mozzie, you know, that's kind of what its goal is, is you can take a drone and put it somewhere and use it the whole round drone out on off or on a defense. Is absolutely amazing and sometimes they don't even shoot at it because you know all it all only thing different about the defender's drone versus the attacker's drone is the color of the light and most people don't even know what the color is so so now let's go to where i i was saying here so whenever you are mozzie you're going to want to go somewhere wherever you're going to roam i think third floor roaming on this map in specific is pretty good so if we go up here all the way up to third floor there is a few ways they're going to try to roam clear you if any if they even try to roam clear you and that is um through cash right so by putting a mozzie here you block cash by putting a mozzie by the stairs or by um by the office that's always good and by the bedroom so if you put them all around here right put them everywhere assuming you didn't even catch a drone so you have three and you just block the whole entryway right and you sit in the middle of either master you can sit in the bathroom you can sit in construction and they can't get to you with their drones and even if they do they'll have to go through the windows right and that's the only way they can get to you with their drones so what i would say here is instead of uh instead of using your mozzie's near sight and then roaming with mozzie instead use them with you when you are roaming to block off drones from 
ever being able to get intel on you. They're gonna know if you have a mozzie here and a mozzie over there and a mozzie over there, they're gonna know you're upstairs. Unfortunately, that's just the reality of it, and that's why Vigil and Mozzie just play different roles. Vigil can be a little bit more stealthy, I would say, while Mozzie, uh, you you know, you can kind of, on a good team, a good team will be like, okay, he has one cash and he has one master. He's somewhere between cash and master. He's either cash, construction, or master because that's the only place we can't drone. Proceeding from there though, they're gonna try to push you from windows, windows, right? But they're never gonna get a drone to actually see exactly your location. So they might know you're in construction, but they don't know where you are and you should be able to at least distract them and slow them down. And that is the goal as a roamer. It's not to frag out and get a bunch of kills. It's instead to um, delay as much time as possible while, you know, that usually ends with you Either them not roam clearing you and you getting some easy, easy frags, right? That's easy, obviously. If uh, if they don't roam clear you, then then you're good. You just have your mozzie set up and, I mean, that's just all it is. And, but if they do roam clear you, assuming this is basement, right? Or you could even do this for cash. You can, you can put mozzies everywhere around here from logistics office, from gym, um, main stairs, and then sit just around this area and uh, cock block them from droning you in master or construction once again. And that is if you are defending cash room. Basically my point here is play off the mozzies. The reason mozzie's a good roamer is not because of her speed. She's a, or he is a two speed. And uh, that's not the most ideal roaming speed. It's okay, but being a really hard roamer like this from a site two floors below and having your mozzie's way up here and playing off of them, you don't want to do this without the mozzies. There's no reason. You're going to want to stay closer to sight because it's a two speed, obviously. And uh, that makes more sound than a three speed. So why not just be vigil if you're not going to use the mozzies to their maximum ca capabilities? So one more time, I just want to reiterate this. This is to counter droning. This is like mute. This is like roaming with mute, but with a better gun and less setup time. And that's why I think. Um, Mozzie is just played differently than Mute. They have similar strategies, right? You could you could go upstairs with Mute, put a Mute Jammer there, put a Mute Jammer there, put a Mute Jammer there, right? And that would work, but the setup and Mute is better at other things. Mute is better at anchoring, while Mozzie is a equivalent type anchor, right? It can be an anchor, but it's better used roaming and uh, using the Mozzies to your advantage as a roamer. So if I pick these up now, uh, and we go closer to sight. You can play this closer to sight as well, because obviously everything can be played close to sight. You can play cav close to sight technically, but uh, that doesn't mean it's the most ideal way to play. It just means that you can do it, and that's just the reality of every operator, uh, depending on um, if you actually know the role that you want to play. Um, but if I would pick a role more towards uh, what your play style is, so pick an operator that matches your play style. But it doesn't mean that you can't do it. You can hold blue. You can always hold blue. Just in my Legion video, I showed an example of holding blue. You could do the same equivalence here as in Mozzie there, Mozzie by blue stairs. You can double it, you know, so they can't cross through. I don't know if that would be the best way to go about this. But anyways, it's like, okay, so they can't drone there. They can't drone blue stairs. And now you have an advantage no matter where you are. They don't know if you're behind Jen or not, all right? If you have have this blown up they don't know if you're behind Jen so you can do the same rotation the whole same blue hold that you did with lesion here just by reinforcing these two walls holding blue and uh, playing behind Jen slash uh, church so that is one way to do it while blocking drones but at that point why not just use mute because it's honestly probably the same equivalence here you put a mute there you put a mute there and it's the same difference as putting a mozzie there mozzie there mozzie there if you prefer the guns of mozzie then yeah that would be a good reason why and if you already have a bandit and or cade or both then you don't have to worry about actually getting walls so that's why the mute jammer is better because it gets the walls while mozzie just captures drones they are used in different ways but i believe they are very similar operators and very just like if you wanted to main two operators that are very similar and for roaming and for attacking. So attacking, or not for, for roaming and anchoring rather. So for roaming, obviously you'd pick Mozzie. For anchoring, you'd pick Mute. They both have similar gun SMGs, I guess, that are both pretty good. I mean, except if you pick the Commando 9. The Commando 9 obviously hits harder but than either of them. But uh, the MP5K is not bad at all. But they're used differently. That's all you gotta know.
anyways mozzie is a roamer and that's how you should play her i or play him i did show you this just so you know uh, another example here but roaming on a whole floor you can take any map for example cafe for example you can block off all of top floor with your mozzies whole top floor and really slow the attackers down and have to look for you and or if you just put your mozzies up there and rotate back down to site or rotate around site and roam somewhere else they're still going to be looking for you because they expect some to be playing off the mozzies if they're two stories away from the site obviously and if they don't drone you out once again you know it's easy rotation especially on something like this you just go down main stairs and the la later parts of the round they're gonna be coming main stairs kitchen or blue so that's the only places they can go so you have the easiest flanks of your life uh, either by kitchen or by main stairs and then if they aren't either of those, then you just rotate back down to site and you're good to go. And that's just the roaming mentality there. Uh, always try to take as much time as you can. If they don't roam clear, get flanks, get easy kills, and then yeah, go back to site and win the round. Hopefully you enjoyed this version of Mozzie. If you learned anything, let me know. Hopefully you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one.